I've got a piece of 20 millimeter here. Um, I just rigged it up outside, and this is going to really put the plasma to the test. This is uh, 20 mil. to sort of just hack through this the old-fashioned way. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to drill four holes and I'm going to attach this to a back plate and the four holes I'll need to um, cramp this on to the, to the part when it's done. But just watch this. This I don't know what this material is. It's probably um, it's just construction steel, so it'll be something like A36. Watch the difference between this and the uh, uh, P355 NL2, which is the, the submarine stuff. This is literally... I mean, it's, it's literally like drilling through chocolate. Look. 20 millimeter. difference material in material is incredible only roughly this that's not super critical okay so I've put the uh, put a back plate on I'm gonna attach this on with some bolts So I think I'm just going to put a centre hole in, just because I think I should do. Now let's try another method, which is just trying to sort of literally just turn it. Um, this seems to be working a bit better, this method. Switch back to the power hide one. So this method seems to be working really well. Taking off a monstrous cut. Absolutely worked a treat. So, um, what is the diameter? So, I've backed these off so that I've got some clearance, uh, and 
I'm just skimming it down the down the uh, down the side. And I've, that that white line that I drew, I know, was just a little bit over over my dimension. So the surface fish finish doesn't matter for this. I can just bulldoze my way through as quick as possible. seem to be way more of a palaver than was required to make a simple part but there we go just gonna quickly tickle around the edge of this with the uh, grinder just to I, I did the other edge on the machine point of this is that it's going to go in there she does with about a millimeter to spare as was expected and uh, what I can do is I'm going to bolt onto the bottom of that and cramp it hard down to the to the base so that when I weld this in position this the idea of this plate is that it will um, hopefully help to keep the um, critical surfaces flat this is what I did on Jody B uh, and it seemed to work I haven't got any distortion in the viewports well not that I know of I haven't broken or anything viewports obviously you have to sit flat uh, to seat properly oh that's my pen mark I thought there was some machine mistake there anyway might take a picture of that from the thumbnail So I'm just going to make a couple of uh, holders that are going to go across Ruby and go across between there and there and there and there uh, with some bolts in so that I can mount the um, viewports into the right place. But first of all, just got to quickly change the saw blade. It's a bit of a nuisance because it's all ruined. Right, so uh, that's going to screw onto there like that, same with that one, and then I'm going to put some bolts through like that so I can adjust, adjust it and hold it in the right place. Um, there's absolutely no requirement for me to use these massive bolts, it's just that I just happen to have them floating around. Right, 
I've changed my mind on using these big bolts, they're going to be a real pain to drill. So, when we just run, I found these, which are 8mm, and the, the tapping size for that is 7mm. Oh, these are N8 by 1.25, so it's quite right tapping size. Yeah, so the tapping size for this should have been 6.8, but uh, we'll live with it for what it is. The sleeve is getting on my nerves. Right. A bit of sleeve there, look. Right, let's see. This is gonna work. I should thread into there. There's a slightly sloppy thread. adjust it into the appropriate position. That's the idea. Now I'm going to flick it over now because uh, for some reason I feel as if I need to do that bottom one first. I don't think it'll make any difference but mm. I'm just trying to think of an easier way of spinning this round. Okay, so I've left all my proper straps at home again. So I've got an idea. Lift this end up, spin it around, lift it back down. Pivoting the back wheels. I personally think this is going to be a complete failure, but I'm going to try. over uh, but I don't think I'll do that again that was a little bit <laughs> need to think of something better than that well, anyway um, I think what I might do is just block up the whole trailer and take the wheels off then they won't be in the way that'll make it easier maybe oh I don't know let's just get on with this report right I just seem to have had non-stop visitors today. Um, so, the thickness is a little bit awkward to measure, but that, I'm just going to sort of roughly say that the thickness of the weld seam is 3mm, meaning that this, it's got to be 15 mil. so I'm just going to, I mean, it's just difficult to be super accurate with this. You have to just sort of, about for a while getting this 
uh, into exactly the right position. And I think I'm there now. Uh, just going to tighten these up. Now I'm going to do the eyeball test. And really, really, this is what it's about. It's got to look right, you know. I mean, I'm just eyeballing that. Do the does it look like it's in the right place from the inside? It does. I want to double check on my on my drawing because. I have put the uh, tower assembly drawing there, but for some reason I've forgotten to put the distance that the the viewports should protrude from the hull at the minimum point, which is a critical dimension. I've forgotten to put it in. Now, I think from memory it's 15 millimetres, but I can't be 100% sure. So I've done it. I've just measured it there to 15 millimetres. The, the hull is ever so slightly tipping forward. I mean, that to me looks spot on. You know, that looks correct. Measurement appear correct. It's quite difficult to get this kind of lined up 100% accurate. There's a, a certain degree of wiggle on this because of just, it's a big, it's a physical part sticking into a hole. You know, it's not as accurate as my CAD drawing. What I want to do when I get home is double check that the distance from there to there and there to there should actually be 15 which i think it is correspondingly it's going to be 40 ish or something there and there um, i'm gonna to have to check that so i'm not gonna do that I, don't, I was going to tack these in now but i'm not gonna have time well i, I want to go home and check my, men, my dimensions okay so what i was actually trying to measure if i just flick this over uh, in fact, I'll just hide um, a couple of, where's those battery pods, hide those and those drop weights there. So this is where we were. So what I was actually trying to measure was the distance between there and there, which uh, is, in fact, 15.774. So what I noticed is in the, uh, in the video, when I actually said this bit here, I have put the uh, tower assembly drawing there, but for some reason I've forgotten to put the distance that the blah, blah, blah. Um, it's completely irrelevant because that I, I was talking about the tower um, distance there and that distance is completely different. So I, I don't know what I was on about, but I mean, I was referencing the wrong, the wrong thing there. Um, so what I'll do is I'm just going to um, put a little note in the video there, which funnily enough, you'll have actually already seen. So that's kind of weird because this is my present now. So you've already seen it. So that is in my future, but actually your past. Did I have just invented time travel? Anyway, uh, right. So the tower assembly drawing I have done, and that was what I was talking about, but that distance isn't the distance between there and there isn't what we we were talking about so i need to actually do uh, a drawing of oh, i've already done it i did it last week didn't i but that i haven't actually done a drawing of the viewport alignment so i think i'm going to do that actually right now and make a proper drawing of it i mean it's a bit late because i've already started but there we are 